after cops. They like Taylor, it's going to be real popular. Hello. 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 We're, just, <laughs> we're, we're conversing because her son's name is Eli and my nephew's uh, name is Eli. That's going to be the next popular name. That's the big name coming up? <laughs> the next Mac. <laughs> Have you seen what this gentleman can do? No. Have you he, seen what I can do? I am he is fascinated. On, he is on the, he's on the cusp of major stardom. This gentleman right here. I am interested to All know. All producers, call me. <laughs> Danny, by the way, what is it that you do for uh, us again? I uh, go to various social events. That's it. So you can stay home and raise your children and audition for voiceovers. And what can I do at that time? <laughs> yeah. You just sit around and drink. <laughs> Thank you, Nanny. Wait, I Let's don't take understand. a look. <laughs> well, watch. Okay. This is Dan Sandoff for Chicago Magazine. We're at a restaurant opening tonight, a new place called Paradiso Ristorante at 1960 uh, North Racine in Lincoln Park. Anyways, I'm here, so you don't have to be. Do you think Chicago needs another Italian restaurant? <laughs> That's very questionable. Yes, they need this Italian they restaurant. Need, my brother said another Italian restaurant, not. Every, what? <laughs> Here's Eleanor Mondale. Eleanor, how's the food? I was just trying to think what I was going to tell you. It has to have something to do with Q101. But uh, the food's great. The food's really good. Yeah, yeah, no. Have you been Mexican eating a lot? Mexican restaurant. No, I'm, I'm dieting. I said, are you enjoying working the restaurant so far? Yeah, it's good. Yeah? Now, people treating you nicely? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you guys think of maybe unionizing or anything? Yeah. Excuse me. Can I button line so I can look at the average? <laughs> That's what happens when you get a TV camera. People let you button line. What is it? Stuffed it's stuffed eggplant. Here's some new potatoes uh, grilled with rosemary. Here's some carrots. People tell me they've never tasted carrots like this before. We've got some uh, zucchini here. We've got some calamari. We've got some green stuff. Hey, Karen, what makes you so special that you got invited to the opening? I am taking the She's fifth. She's a stone frog. <laughs> What's that? She's a stone frog. What does that mean? Let's take a look. A stoned fox? Well, I slept with the owner. It's easy to get invited when we are a babe. Excuse me? I'm going to go in the kitchen. They haven't said I couldn't. What are you making? Uh, risotto. Whoa, is this hot back here, risotto? What are you making? This is ravioli. Ravioli. Are you the chef? Yes, I am. So you're uh, Filippo, right? Filippo. Now, what, what's, the, what, what's so special about this restaurant, Filippo? It's, uh, it's a very authentic. Say, so. I go, I go, so you don't have to. Say it in Italian. Io vado e tu non ci devi andare, se vuoi. Schmuck, I'm not sure the health code uh, would like that. It's a nice kitchen. Was he nervous back there? Uh, he was a little nervous, but you know what? I'm a little nervous at work at night. We're all a little nervous. Now, do you know what the name of my shtick is? Uh, it's, I'm here so you don't have to be. This is homemade ravioli. This is veal sorrentina. It's veal with prosciutto, eggplant, and fresh mozzarella in a orange sauce. Portobello risotto. I'm special. I'm at all the openings. This you is are. Part of you know what? I'm at all the openings, and I've never seen you before. Um, the food was really good. Yeah, the food was good? Excellent. It kind of melts in your mouth. It's like excellent or it's excellent? It's totally excellent. You still doing okay? Yeah. You still planning on unionizing? Yeah. Well, this is Dan Santa. We've been here a few minutes, and it's been a lot of fun. Anyways, as usual, I was here, so you didn't have to be. Good night. So the overall rating there, Dan? The food is great, actually. I'm not a restaurant critic, but the food was fine. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> now we're going to go to Taylor, who will take us to the break. Taylor. Hey, and now we're going to go to Jim <laughs> Martin again. Hi, Jim. Hi. Up next, a recap of the day's news, weather, and sports. <laughs> Stay with us. Coming soon to Fox. Oh, my God, that's my Roger. And Audie. <laughs> the comedy that asks the question, can marriage survive? Eight years in the state penitentiary. The test of time. When will it ever end? Rosie O'Donnell. I'm going to Disneyland. And Melissa Gilbert Brinkman. Just the way you react to a tragedy. What tragedy? I'm thrilled. You realize Audie's in prison with a tattoo that says rap suck? Stand by your man. Premier Sunday, April 5th, after Herman's Head. Dear Walgreens, I just wanted to say how pleased I am with your pharmacy. My daughter got sick while we were on a trip. Your pharmacist and my pediatrician coordinated everything for your satellite system. My daughter received the medication she needed, even though we were hundreds of miles from home. Thank you, Walgreens. P.S. My daughter is fine now. Now at Walgreens, carefree Tana Shields are just $3. They're free at the rebate. Marset in case you're clean, just $11.99 after rebate. This week at Walgreens. Rap music. It lifted one young man from the streets to the brink of success. 
But hidden in the words of this rapper's music was a promise to shoot a cop. On June 23, 1991, police say he kept his word. 1199, officer down. What happened that night, and why did he throw away a promising career? Get the clues to help solve this real-life mystery. Watch America's Most Wanted, Friday. There's a breaking story in our news recap tonight here to tell us about it is Robin. Thank you, Dan. It turned out to be not as bad as we'd originally thought. People's Gas Company, though, still looking for the source of a gas leak that caused an explosion at 1523 West Cortez on Chicago's near northwest side. Gas officials say gasoline seeped into a sewer line somehow and ignited a pilot light in a basement. The explosion occurred at about 8.30 tonight in a frame house. People were in the house at the time, but no injuries are reported, and there was no fire after the explosion. However, People's Gas is still shutting off gas for the entire block of 1500 West Cortez on both sides of the street. Police are searching tonight for a 14-year-old girl accused of stabbing another girl to death during an argument over a boy. Investigators say a 13-year-old girl identified only as Pumpkin was stabbed in the chest in the hallway of the CHA Al Alba Homes on West 13th Street. In sports, the Blackhawks beat the Nordiques 5-4 in overtime tonight. Michelle Goulet scoring the game-winning goal. In the NC2A tournament, Kentucky beat Massachusetts 87-77. Indiana beat Florida State 85-74. And the Loyola Ramblers have renewed head basketball coach Will Ray's contract through the 1995-96 season. Here's a quick look at the Chicago area weather tonight. Snow showers, breezy, chilly, a low of 23 degrees. Tomorrow, back to sunshine and a high of 40 degrees. Now back to the new 9.30. Taylor, we have the results of the Fox National phone poll now. These are just results up until this moment. Because it's a mm -hmm. national poll. It will be continuing for the next few hours. And here are the results. Is Tyson's sentence too severe? Look at that. 69% of the people out there said it's it was so too severe. 10% say it's fair. 21% say too lenient. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised by that. I would have thought that maybe more folks would have just said it was fair. It does seem like a lot of time, and the guy didn't even get out while he's uh, doing his appeal. He's right in the Hooskow, the big house, yeah. the pokey. But, you know, I, I don't know. I guess you have to just, you know, what happens to normal people? How is it usually done? I don't know. I don't have any idea either. <sighs> Six years, though, for Mr. Tyson. This was Ooh. really a lot of fun. Can you come back? I, mean, I would love to. Better That's come so back fun. soon, though. Uh, victims <laughs> While you're still on the air? <laughs> oh, who said that? Tomorrow night right here on the 930, we will be here. I will be here. Hopefully she'll be here. Victims of religious cults tell their stories. And also we may get to that Amy Scott package. We'll have that real soon. It's very good on the Ice page. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Imagine 